Hi guys, uh, we are here today, um, I am here today live to go over our, um, God, blanking already, uh, our video for the 12 days of Samhain, and I believe today is day seven, I can't even keep track anymore, and we are going to today, we are going to make an ancestral jar, so a um, couple of things. Obviously, you got to start out with a jar. Um, I have a plate here um, to put it on. So, it, two reasons. If I make a mess, it's on the plate. And two, we're going to light a candle over this after. So, um, so we're going to start out with a jar. And I'm making my jar to connect with um, ancestors on the other side. Um, you can certainly make jars for all kinds of different things and if you don't want to make it for an ancestral um connection then i'm going to go over a few other ones you can do at the end but for right now i'm just going to do the ancestral connection um so one of the first things i'm going to start with is some of the things that i just had right in my cupboard and um we're going to put in some rosemary and rosemary is good for insight so I'm going to just put a pinch of that in there. See, I've already made a mess. Actually, I'm going to put three pinches in there. Because it's a pretty good size jar. <laughs> All right. And move that over there so we don't get confused. I'm also going to add some parsley, which is good for wisdom. And so um, you'll see that kind of these are the things that are connected to like the ancestors is insight and wisdom and all of that good knowledge stuff that that's what we want to connect with them for right um then we're going to put in a little nutmeg which is also for insight and i'll show you the jar in just a second here so those are some things that i just had in my cupboard and so those are now in the jar and then some of the other things that I had wrote down was I'm going to actually put in a rose that I have. And rose is, you know, you think of relationships. Um, and I want a good relationship with um, my ancestors, my spirit guides, um, those who have gone before me. So I'm going to go ahead and put that rose in there. So that's nice and pretty. Um, some of the other things is, let's see here, i got to go through my herb pile here we did what did we do we did parsley rosemary and nutmeg all right so let's see if i have some um peppermint i should have some peppermint can't believe i don't have peppermint well if i do i don't know where i put it all right we're gonna go with orange um, I just saved the orange pieces this, and, and dried them out. And orange is also good for insight. Um, maybe some insight is to how I'm supposed to open this bag back up. <laughs> so I'm going to put um, a couple of pieces of dried orange in there. do three I like to do threes all right what else do we have on here um don't know what else. can't believe I don't have any peppermint in here that doesn't seem right I think it's in my other pile of herbs um rosemary let's see I have some rosemary here. I'm like, oh no, we already did the rosemary. Yes, we already did rosemary. So mint and let's see here. I know I have a I have too many. I have too many herbs, guys. Um looking to see if I have any lemongrass, lavender, ladies' mantle. Nope, and so um, lemongrass would have also been for insight. 
Peppermint is for communication. And um, basil. I do have some basil here. So basil is for wisdom. So we'll put a little bit of that in there. And I'm totally making a mess. And now I have way too much basil in there. <laughs> and you're going to have to bear with me for just one second because I really want the peppermint for communication. Sorry. <sighs> My bad. All right, so peppermint found it. And I also found some thyme, which is also good for wisdom. But I really wanted the peppermint for that communication, that connection with the ancestors. Oh, and it, now it smells really good, too. <laughs> with all those smells in there. All right. And then I'm going to put just a little bit of thyme, which, um, like I said, thyme was for wisdom and that's pretty close to full. Um, and so <laughs> that was the easy part, right? So now we're going to get a little bit more into our craft part. So one of the things that I'm going to put in my jar is a quartz point because quartz amplifies and so um, I want all the herbs and everything that I'm putting in this jar to be amplified so I'm gonna put a little quartz point uh, I found this quartz point at the crystal mine in Jefferson New Hampshire so I'm gonna just tuck that down in the side there and then the next thing I'm going to put is, yeah, it's a little weird. Um, it's a clump of my hair. <laughs> um, some of the other things you can put in besides hair, if you don't want to put in hair. Um, I use hair for the fact that my hair falls out like all the time. Um, hair is, <clears throat> this is just going to kind of tie you to the jar it's also going to amplify um, your intentions. Um, some of the other things you can use besides hair um, is spit. You can spit in the jar. Um, some people use waste products. So um, yeah, you could save some pee or some other stuff if you wanted to. Um, some people will use blood. Um, some people will use, they'll just cut like their finger or pin and use the blood. Um, some people use menstrual blood, um, and the other thing is some people use um, other body fluids, so um, sexual body fluids. If you want to try to save that, <laughs> you can put that in your jar as well. Um, some people also use fingernails. Um, they clip fingernails and put them in there sometimes as well. So I'm just going to put that little piece of hair in there, and then I'm going to top it off with some honey. Uh, and I didn't have much left, so I have him sitting upside down. And so I'm just going to pour some honey in here. Do, 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 do. Give that a minute to just kind of seep down. My jar is pretty full, so the honey doesn't have much room to go anywhere. <laughs> We'll put just a little bit more. All right. And cover. All right. And I guess I didn't do this video very well. I forgot my lighter. <laughs> 
So I have a candle and let's see if I push you guys back a little bit. Oh, you still can't see that. So I have my jar on my plate here. And like I said, I just, the plate, because you can see there's herbs and stuff that I missed um, that I will put in um, what I call my eight ball jar. Um, and that is just a jar of um, whenever I do anything with herbs and they fall out and they get all mixed up, I put them in that jar. It's in, it's typically called an eight ball jar. Uh, it's just a little bit of mix of everything. And um, then when I just want to burn an incense, sometimes I'll just pull that out and just whatever the herbs are that are in there um, is what we use for incense. And so the candle, I am going to just stand, stand, sit here and let the candle drip. Some people will um, drip a little wax and then fix the candle on top and let the candle just burn out like that. Um, but I find that way, like I'll tend to like just walk off and go do something else. And this way I kind of sit here with the candle in the jar and make sure that the whole top gets covered and just kind of help infuse my intentions into it all. So again, my jar, my purpose of my jar is to connect with my ancestors at this time when the veil is already thin. So I'm just going over this, making sure the whole cover is covered. All right, and I'm just going to read some of the other ones that you can do. Um, so if you wanted to do a jar for anxiety, you could use lavender, basil, rosemary, and Himalayan salt. If you were looking for sleep, if you're trying to call in some sleep, you could use lavender, rosemary, and white willow bark. Uh, my candle went out. <clears throat> if you're looking for creativity, you can use jasmine, cinnamon, honeysuckle, and spearmint. If you're looking for prosperity, you could use some cinnamon, honeysuckle, bay leaf, basil, or spearmint. If you're looking to make a protection jar, you could use some Himalayan salt, sage, eucalyptus, nettle, and rosemary. Um, if you're looking to call in love, you could use some Himalayan salt, lavender, and rosemary. And this was kind of an odd one, but I did have it for PTSD. You could use some peppermint, you could use some lavender, you could use some nettle, you could use some rose and some yarrow. And so I, I'm going to go ahead and finish my jar. I'm going to relight my candle, but it went out. I'm going to finish my jar with dripping it. But that is it for today's little craft. So if you have any questions or comments or anything, just uh, put them in the comments or private message me. And um, if you have, I'm not sure what to use, um, you can message me, but I always say go with your intuition. If you feel like you want to use it, go ahead and use it. So, all right. So this finishes up day seven, right? I don't know. Day seven. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you. Bye.